talking about the anatomy and physiology of the gastrointestinal system. So the function of the gastrointestinal system is to break down food both physically and chemically. Digestion occurs as the breakdown of food into its molecular particles. These essential nutrients from food are absorbed through our digestive tract into our bloodstream and move throughout our body as nutrients. So the gastrointestinal tract runs from our mouth all the way down to our butt. In between, we have our esophagus, our stomach, our small intestines, our large intestines, and those are all connected into this gastrointestinal system. So digestion begins when we start to chew our food. Me mechanically chewing of our food creates saliva and is what starts the digestive process. Saliva moistens our food as we begin to digest it. The food then gets shaped into what's called a bolus. So if you see that on your exam, uh, that is just like think of chewed up food. That's a bolus of food or a ball and we swallow it. And it goes down, like we talked about with the respiratory one, it goes down our pharynx, larynx, that epiglottis, make sure that it doesn't go into our lungs, passes into the esophagus, right? So not the trachea, that epiglottis is, is at, at the top of the trachea, making sure it doesn't go into our lungs. So that's where it splits into the trachea esophagus. So it goes into our esophagus next and down into our stomach. And in our stomach, we have gastric juices that consist of hydrochloric acid and has a pH of one to two. So in one of the videos, we're gonna talk about pH, but what that means is it's highly acidic, so it can break down that food. The stomach also uses an enzyme called pepsin to break down food. So the gastric juices serve two purposes. One is to break down food, and one is to kill bacteria in the food. The pepsin works to digest proteins. The food mixes with water and creates this like creamy substance, which is called chyme. The food moves from our stomach throughout our system through mechanical contraction known as peristalsis. So that's kind of like this mechanical contraction. It's automatic that's just pushing the food throughout our body. So in the stomach, the food is gonna pass through something called the pyloric sphincter. And this pyloric sphincter is right at the bottom of our stomach and it's when it passes through there, it then goes into our duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestines. Here, proteins are broken down into amino acids and starches are broken down into simple sugars. So when it breaks down into these simple things, like amino acids or simple sugars, it can then be absorbed into the body through the wall of the small intestines and can be carried as nutrients to our cells. So any undigested food stays in the small intestines and then passes into the large intestines and then exits our body as waste. Okay. And that is it. So let's do a quick review, okay? So gastrointestinal system starts at our mouth, out through our bottom. We eat food, we have the saliva. The saliva helps to start the digestive process. It turns that food into a ball or a bolus that we then swallow through our pharynx, larynx. It then splits at the epiglottis, the air, remember, goes into the trachea. The food goes into the esophagus, down into our stomach where it's highly acidic and has, and has acids that and pepsin that break down the protein. So break down that food, goes through the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum or proteins are broken down into amino acids and carbohydrates are broken down into simple sugars. It's then um, absorbed through the small intestinal wall. The waste then moves through the small intestines, through the large intestines, and out our body. And that is the summary of the gastrointestinal system. All right, this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe below. If you want that free 14-page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's Science Study Guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.